It's Bob Sands over here with Gophers beat expert, Marcus Fuller, John Shipley, and Pioneer Press Deputy Sports What's Editor, a beat John expert? <laughs> huh? What's We're going to find expert? out. <laughs> We'll see how much expertise you have. All right, now, you were just, you're predicting that, much like the Giants, the Gophers will win every game from here on out and win the NCAA championship. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> well, they've got one game this week against Wisconsin, and I think if they win that, then it says a lot about what the rest of the season will be for this team. They, fit, they will reach 500 with a win against Wisconsin, and, I mean, that's huge. They need to finish 9-9, nine nine in my opinion, to make the NCAA tournament. Beating Wisconsin this week... We'll put them in a great position to do that without having to beat Ohio State or, or Michigan State. Now, John, they don't make the tournament, or they do make the tournament. Is uh, Tubby's contract extension should it be dependent on what they do, whether or not they make the tournament? I think they have to make the tournament for him to get an extension. If they don't make it, I don't. I don't see how you give the guy an extension. There, there are so many examples this year and the previous seasons about how he fails to make adjustments in games, especially in the second half games, the last 10 minutes with the games on the line, he can't figure out a way to win games. And the Gophers would have probably two or three more wins this season if Tubby would have figured out a way to beat the Hawkeyes. And he couldn't get it done. Um, this is a team that they have a 10 point lead with four minutes to go in a game and they get beat. That can't happen when you're paying a coach who's the highest paid public employee in the state $1.8 million. You, you, he's got to win those games, and he's not getting it done. Well, they made second-half adjustments against Nebraska. Well, gee, Nebraska is what, 3-8? and eight? I'm <laughs> hip, hip, hooray for that one. <laughs> now, I'm just judging him on his last game. <laughs> he, uh, and he has to deal with them every day. Now, Eric Kaler, the new president, he's, I asked, him this question, asked Tubby this question last week about if he's concerned of a new athletics director coming in. And, uh, you know, will he get, uh, is he confident about the contract extension? And he said, Kaler has pretty much assured him that he'll get an extension, that the new AD isn't going to impact that. So that, uh, that could be, well, be good news for, uh, I, I, this way, that Marcus wouldn't have to break in a new coach if that were the case. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, Tubby's been saying since uh, the beginning of the season that he was going to get extension that was right around the corner. And then he told me a couple, a few weeks ago that it's going to be not until the end of the season where he'll get a possible extension. So I think, you know, what he says to the public isn't necessarily, uh, you know, what set, set in stone is what he's, I'm trying to say. Pretty, so here's a question. If he gets an extension, does he end his career here or does he keep looking at No, he retires here. If he gets an extension, he'll retire here. I How think, long? I think he wants, you know, basically a, a six. He'll get a six-year deal. He in wants my to opinion. turn the job over to his son. Is that the plan? No, I don't think that's the plan at all. I'm not, really? I'm not sure. Why wouldn't it be? I think, you know, Saul. Um, I think he he wants to go to the NBA and coach. Um, I think he he he'll probably get a chance to coach in the NBA sometime soon. And um, you know, as an assistant coach. As an assistant coach, and you know, I think that you know Tubby would want to retire here, and uh, you know, leave it to the next guy. Who could be Saul? <laughs> anyway, we'll be talking Gophers again, I'm sure, as the season progresses or degresses.